back to the podcast. Thank you so much for joining in. Seriously, I do appreciate it. Um, it's super awesome. If you're even just throwing this on in the background, it's really, really cool to be doing this finally and, and actually like committing time to it because there's a lot of topics that I've always wanted to talk about, um, especially this one in particular um, with music and whatnot, just kind of getting into what really influences me, how I kind of write my music, uh, especially since I feel like the way that I write my music is a little bit off kilter from what a lot of people end up doing. Or at the very least, maybe there are a lot of people that do it this way, and I just don't know a whole lot of people to do it. I I have a couple buddies who are also songwriters, and you know the way that they do it is you know they take a topic, they pick a topic, and they you know kind of roll with it. But for me, I feel like it's a lot harder for me to do that, and maybe that's just because of the way that I write. But the way that I the way that I do it is usually just I start off with just a simple melody and that melody turns into you know a, a specific word that I've got stuck in my head and I'll I'll use that word to kind of build off of the first line and I I wanted to take uh this one song that I've written very recently and have only released a teeny tiny demo snippet into my discord uh, and it's called Broken Cash Machine um but the way that it, it kind of ends up turning out this song is like turned into like four different versions uh not really versions because it's not you know i haven't really changed it as far as the lyrics go but it, it's turned into four different types of things for me because i i get really empathetic with you know music and and even just regular media like i've told you guys before with anime and stuff like that how it's really, really hard for me to like watch like sad or angsty anime because I just feel so much from it. So it's sort of the same way with music, but it's almost like an opposite effect where if I'm writing really, really sad shit, I, I tend to feel a little bit better about myself. I think mostly because it's just me kind of venting. And that's what a lot of my music is, is just venting. So it's a lot of the times really personal and it's hard for me to get out there because I feel like oh, maybe people are going to, like, think that it's too personal and they can't relate to it or, you know, something along the lines of, like, you know, oh, you know, is he okay? Is, is you're going to be all right? Like, you're talking about really, really dark shit here, you know, and I've had that happen to me before. But this particular song is definitely a little bit darker, just kind of like most of my music is. But it, it started as a a sort of concept for, you know, that nostalgic feel of an old place that you've remembered. And specifically it started off with uh, my mom's house where I was thinking about a house where I grew up back in like, you know, middle school, high school, those days and stuff like that. Um, and the first two lines are, are literally four steps into your living room has never felt so strange. It's like you're here, but all that's left is like a carpet that's been stained. So it's like basically talking about how you're coming into this house um, like you're you're trying to feel the same way that you have before, even though you know that those times have passed and it's never going to be the same way. So, you know, it's like you're here, but all that's really left is just, you know, the memory of it. So a carpet that's been stained and then immediately after it kind of you know, delves deeper into the fact of like, when new residents come after you, you're gone or so it seems. They took our space and all I'm left is sitting, staring at the frames. So basically it's, you know, people have taken over this space, you know, new people have moved in as, as per usual with like childhood homes or even just places that you've lived in, you know, in the past in general, where you want to feel that same old nostalgic, you know, kind of thing, but it's harder because, you know, other people are starting to create memories now and it's, it's not the same thing. Um, and then going like kind of right down the list into the next lyric, uh, this old house we used to live in back when breathing was a chore. Now everything's less like a battle, but I'm surely still at war. So thinking about that old house and feeling like, oh my God, there were a lot of really, really bad things, but there were also a lot of really good things. So, at the present, it's less like it's less like that battle that you had when you were growing up, 
but you're very obviously still at war. And then, you know, the next line plays into that fact of against my lungs, I'm trying harder not to feel it when it breaks. Because the second that is does, I'm sure this house won't stay the same. So with those lines, it kind of delved into, all right, I'm still sort of talking about, you know, I, I miss this old place that I used to live in. And, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm not going to remember these places or I'm never going to feel the same way. And it, it's scary to feel that um, with, you know, the next line being and all the memories I've built will slowly fall into the ash. Your words like cinders on my tongue ignite the worries so they last. Uh, that basically plays into, you know, someone telling you that it's okay that things are changing, but, you know, it, it, it's like a bitter taste that's left on your tongue because you don't, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to, like, you don't want to get rid of these memories. You don't want to feel like these things are, like, disappearing if you, you know, still have access to those places or, you know, even if you're still just trying to remember back to then it, it's harder and harder as the years go by to kind of you know feel the same attachment to it that you used to um so with that you know next line coming in it's for what it's worth i guess i'm making it i'm sure i'll still survive but if they ask me how i'm doing you bet your fucking ass i'll lie so <laughs> very very blunt very straight to the point which i feel like a lot of my lyrics are uh just kind of feeling like Oh, you know, I, I know I'm going to live even if, you know, this fucking place decides to, you know, go off the map and I never see it again or I never think of it again. But if someone is like, you know, hey, is, you know, is this OK? And you'd be like, oh, yeah, it's OK. You know, whatever. It's it's fine. But, you know, very obviously it's it's something that actually affects you. So I didn't start actually feeling like this song had made a change from that original concept of, you know, thinking about my mom's home until the chorus had come in. And the chorus actually came to me first before these, uh, before these lines even came in from anywhere. So the first, the whole first verse there, like was not even here before the chorus actually came in. Uh, which is really weird for me because I, I, I don't usually write the chorus first before I write the actual verses. A lot of the times I'll just kind of start writing until things start making sense. And that's always the way that I've done it. But for some reason, these words were stuck in my head or it's like, no one needs to know that I'm still struggling to be. I'm not much human anymore. I'm more like a broken cash machine. And if I drop into the negatives, my screen will probably crack. With no more metaphors to function, I'll unplug from this at last. It's it's really like I said, it's really really dark. So very obviously here, I'm I'm kind of talking about like, man, no one really needs to like understand why it's affecting me so much, and I feel like all I'm doing now is just kind of living life and coasting, and you know I'm just kind of chilling out cash for you know where I'm staying now and things that I'm doing in life and. You know, if if worse comes to worse, basically, I, I'm, I'm done with life. I don't want to deal with it anymore. So th it's like this stupid metaphor of basically saying, like, uh, you know, this really, really dark thing that I feel like a lot of people are so afraid to to talk about when when they're like either even just writing music or just specifically feeling it. Like if people are feeling like suicidal or, you know, anything like that, I feel like so many people have gotten you know, so much flack about it in their lives where they've gotten like really, really depressed. Like it's hard for them to come out about it because it's such a cliche thing for, I, I mean, not even cliche, so to speak, but I guess more taboo than anything else where, oh, you shouldn't talk about, you know, how you're feeling or you shouldn't talk like, you know, you're a danger to yourself because that's just going to make other people feel bad or, you know, you're going to put yourself in a bad situation. And I feel like a lot more people should be open to the fact of, people saying like, Hey, I'm not doing okay. Like I, I feel like I'm a general danger to myself or, you know, even just being like, I'm not feeling okay. I am thinking of this, but I'm not going to do it, but I do need help. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where those lines came from. And, you know, with the next like few verses that I dropped into, it just totally changed 
the whole song. And I, I don't even know where the whole concept for this came from, but it just suddenly drops into me being like, wow, I'm, I'm really fucking sick of this. Like, you know, like, why am I still doing this kind of shit? And I, I kind of wanted to get into a little bit of the next few verses, but I'm, I'm already at the 10 minute mark as well. So I don't want to like go too terribly far into it, but a basic gist of it, um, with even just like a few lines into it is, you know, I'm so happy, I'm unhappy, but not so happy with myself. How the hell do those words make sense when I keep bullying? My self-preservation is such a bore. I'll jump this cliff if someone helps. I'm giving in to my obsession. Fuck my shitty mental health. Um, So those like specific lines are just kind of like, d- like completely diverging paths from... You know, the earlier, oh, this nostalgic feeling, what is happening to it, to just this huge angle of like, wow, I'm feeling really shitty about myself, and this is probably why. Um, and then I, I kind of get a little, like, uh, sarcastic with, you know, what people end up saying about the these types of things, you know, like, like every song that I've written, I'm sure someone's going to say, man, what is wrong with you? You know, that's given. Are you feeling a okay? Should I call a fucking hospital? Admit you to a ward? Well, I guess a long vacation's all I'm really asking for. So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a spit in the face of like you know I you know like I know that this is not an okay thing for me to feel, but it's the way that I'm feeling and it's the way that I want to get it out. And you know if it bothers you, I'm sorry. But this is, you know, the way that I need to say it. So, I it, it plays a lot into that fact of, like, this suddenly turning from, you know, a song at first about my mom to uh, a song about a specific place and time that I used to feel. Then to this, uh, s- this thing where I'm, like, while I'm, like, really struggling here, I'm struggling to feel, I'm struggling to you know, feel anything but, like, this really deep feeling of, like, helplessness to, you know, fuck everything. I don't even care, you know? So, (laughs) and I feel like that's what a lot of my songs end up doing anyway. Uh, They just kind of, like, change directions whenever I'm writing them. I can start writing something that you know, begins with a, hey, how are you doing? Everything must be going okay because I'm doing cool to, um, wow, this night's gone on really, really long and I don't want to be here anymore. It, I don't know. It's it's those weird types of, like, changes in, in tone that have always interested me in music as well where, you know, everything is sort of seeming like one main topic at first, but then it just kind of spins off from there and gives a different type of feeling towards like the end of it. Um, I'm really actually excited to, to release this song and it, it's a big reason why I chose this one to talk about for this podcast, because I, I just like, I just like the idea of it. And I like the idea of being able to talk about this kind of shit and not, you know, getting flack for it and not feeling like, you know, people are going to put you up on a, you know, put you up on a fucking hospital stretcher or something like that and be like, okay, well, you're feeling this way. You need to go away for a little while, you know, because, you know, some people, yeah, that they may need that if they're a true danger to themselves. But at some points, you also have to take a step back and realize like, oh, maybe this person, you know, needs to talk about shit. Maybe they just You know, maybe it's not even a simple fact of like they're definitely going to hurt themselves, you know, take take a step back and see what exactly they need and, you know, be okay with them talking about like, you know, them feeling like either they're going to hurt themselves or that, you know, something just doesn't feel okay for them and they need to get it out. Um, I I mean, I I feel like it should be okay to talk about those kinds of things. And a lot of my music tends to stem from that fact of just being like, fuck it, I'm going to talk about it anyway. So, 
You know what though? Uh, that is gonna do it for me. There, I am. I'm actually running over my 15 minute mark, which is crazy. I've never done that. This is the first time. It's really, it's really hard to keep these episodes down to 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I'm always trying to rush to talk about things. Um, but I also don't want to like lengthen these up because I feel like if they're too terribly long, then it's just gonna be too much information and too much time to listen to so i'm not going to go too much further on this uh thank you guys so much for for listening uh i hope you're looking forward to when the song releases um this is going to be a part of an ep that i'm hopefully going to be able to release towards the end of the year um i'm currently working on it right now this song in particular i've been working on for the past few weeks it's been really really fun um if you want to check out any of my music, it's down in the description below. If you want to check out the little demo snip of it, it is in my Discord. You can join the Discord, take a look at it in the music drop-off place, and it'll be there. Uh, but thank you guys so much for listening. If you've made it this far, I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next piece. Peace out.